Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. You are welcome. So you are a Muslim, my friend? Ah, yes. Okay, you ah, said... Sorry. You, sorry. you said you have... A... Sorry again, what you said? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam. But by the way, how come you are saying to me, you Muslim, assalamu alaikum? Don't you know that the Prophet he forbid Muslims from saying peace to the Christians? Um, no, I think this is like uh, nice way to uh, keep say blessing to other people. Yeah, it's nice way. I understand, but you know, uh, uh, the Prophet of Islam he says. That's not. This is haram. You should not do that. And not, not only that, if you see Christians, uh, if you if you see Christian in the street, you have to spit in their face and force them to walk in the sewage. Read the hadith in front of you. Read the hadith. So Muslims, when they say peace unto you, like I, I am assuming that you are a good guy, you have a nice heart, but a Muslim who knows Islam very well, he will not say that for this is against Islam. Unless he is playing taqiyya. Not only yes. you cannot, you not only you cannot say to me peace, you have to force me to walk in the sewage. You have to humiliate me. And this is Sahih. No problem, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say to me? I'm not going to question your knowledge much. Yeah, so actually I want I just want to uh, discuss. I don't want to really debate you because I also have uh, many doubts about this uh, religion, actually. Okay. So, uh, I saw some of your uh, video online in YouTube, also some video that I already uh, transmitted and uh, translate into Indonesian language mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I'm from Indonesia, by the way. All right. And then I learned quite a lot from uh, your video that there is something, something not right in Islam. Absolutely. Finally. Okay, that's wonderful. Then uh, I just wonder about uh, maybe this is not really related into uh, this topic today. And then when you uh, show one hadith to the uh, previous caller, mm -hmm. uh, then you about when uh, Muhammad uh, taking back from the uh, pool that the water. Uh, full of garbage, uh, dead dogs, uh, yeah. lot of menstruation from the woman. Yeah. I think this is not about the taking bed after he got intercourse with uh, his wife, but about uh, doing preparation before prayer. Yeah, but you I see, mean, it the, doesn't the, matter. The, the, the prayer, my friend, the prayer in this time is more important than normal bath for this is what purify you right so this is more important this is a higher rank bath so if this is how you prepare yourself to be in the presence of god this is how that's mean how faithy are you you know what i mean if a bath I see, but, but if, if, if a bath is just to clean yourself really like a... okay my friend bath Sorry. is just to clean yourself right and actually you know if you read the hadith you will see, you will see aisha saying that he used to do ghusl which is a preparing for wudu I can show you the reference. Yeah. Can Can you? Yeah, sure. Let's just go back. Um, give me a second. The same term used in the Russell is the same term used by Aisha when he goes to go to pray. Let us see. Here we go. You see the word Russell? Let us go here. Um. No, let I okay, refresh on. my YouTube first. Uh, here we go. This hadith says, The Prophet do not perform wudu after the ghusl. You see the ghusl? So ghusl yeah. is making him ready. And this is the ghusl he used to do after he have sex. You see it? This is the same word. He don't do wudu after ghusl. That's it. That's mean ghusl is considered as wudu. It's not doing like uh, tayammum. No, no, no. Tayammum is different story. Tayammum, like you know, this is uh, you know, if somebody he don't have uh, all the means of uh, normal uh, uh, natural uh, wudu, like water, etc. You do tayammum. 
but this is about ghusl. So ghusl, if you do ghusl, he don't do the rest. That's it. He don't do the uh, uh, the ablution for this is considered as ghusl for him, right? And who is the witnessing for that? Aisha. And this is sahih. This is sahih hadith. You know, it says. And the funny, by the way, it says in Arabic, "Qala Abu Isa, هذا حديث حسن صحيح." Abu Isa said, "This is a hadith which is Hassan and sahih." In here. It says Da'if. <laughs> in Arabic, guys, in Arabic, in the same hadith, it says, وَقَالَ أَبُوْ عِيسَى هَذَا حَدِيثٌ حَسَنٌ صَحِيحٌ This is Hassan and Sahih, not only Sahih. Hassan, which means good. Sahih means authentic. But in English, it says here, in the same page, Da'if. Do you see it? However, we can show you from other hadith where it says it clearly, even in English, it is Sahih. But the question, my friend, what kind of a prophet he wash himself with dead dogs and women blood from period? What's wrong with this guy? And as you see, people they were asking him, why you are doing this, which means nobody do it. Don't you think that this is a crazy act? Maybe this is like a way to deliver some philosophy that water is pure no matter the yeah but my friend okay come into but okay hold on is that if water is a pure then how muhammad he says if a, if a dog he lick your dish you have to wash it seven times you know okay because if he lick if he lick what he, what you have inside your dish you have let us say a soup it's water this is water nothing will make it impure so if the water is always pure, if we if we cook pigs and pork inside the water, still the pork will not make the water impure, because this is water. Are you there or hang up? I think I'm still here. All right. So if the water is always pure, that means doesn't matter we add what we add to it, correct? Yeah. Okay. And what add we what we. What we add to it will never change the state of the water. It's always going to be pure. So if we add pork, the water is pure. As you see here, we have dogs. We have dead dogs, not only dogs. We have dead dogs, women of blood from menstruation. Now, women of blood from menstruation, is that a liquid? Is that we're going to dis dissolve inside the water? The answer, yes, correct? Yeah. Okay. So here we have now dissolved blood. Something like uh, just try to describe no no this is literal this is no no this is literal my friend read carefully it says in front of you it was said Allah messenger shall we use Bayrida which people they throw in it menstruation rights throw in it which have in it already so the water already have a blood not only the rags because when you put the rags in the water right away whatever is in the rags is going to dissolve in the water correct Yes. Okay. So by saying that water is always pure, that means all of Islam is a lie. Because then we should not be upset from anything in the water. It doesn't matter, including the sewage. This is a sewage, actually. This is more dirty than the sewage. If I open now, if I take the water in my sink, I will not find those material there. I will not find women blood from period. I will not find uh, uh, dead dogs. And I will not find uh, garbage. Simply, I have... I wash in my sink with, with soap, my hands. It's just soap and water. It's way more clean than what Muhammad talking about. So how come that this is to prove that the water is always pure when it's full of germs and bacteria and blood? How come if Muhammad, he says, if a woman, she, if you if you touch a, a poo-poo or women, you have to wash. And then now literally he is touching women and not only touching their women, he is touching their blood. How come this is not the pure, will not make you any, any pure? And he is doing that before he pray. Because what I heard from the uh, Ustad here, that this is kind of the, like a parable or imagery to say something to the people you, you at see, the time. You see, my friend, if it's this is imaginary, that's mean, okay, this, this Muslim who says that to you, he have to prove to us that this is imaginary and this is a parable. Why they are lying? You know, here we go. It says they are giving uh, even Muhammad. He he drink from it. It says yustaqa laka. Not only he do abolition yustaqa in Arabic. It says yustaqa. Yustaqa ilayka. Here we go. 
Yusqa, a yastaki, mean you drink. They are giving you water to drink from, and not only he do ablution. So they are asking him why they are doing this to you. Water is brought to you. This is this is imaginary. This is imaginary now. This is not imaginary. This is water brought to you, and this water have dead dogs, women, blood from period. So the, the scholar who said that to you, he is trying to escape the humiliation and the disgusting behavior of his prophet. So what he can say to you, yes, my, our prophet was a pig. He will not say that. So he have to say this is imaginary, where it says imaginary. If you see the word imaginary, show me how we can come to such a conclusion. I passed by the prophet of Allah, read carefully, it says, I don't know if you can see the screen. I passed yes. by the messenger of Allah. So he passed by him and he was a performing wudu. This is imaginary or this is real? That's real. Real. So he was a performing wudu in the well of Bidra. I said, with Bidra, I mean garbage, by the way. I said, are you performing wudu from it when garbage is thrown in it? He said, water is made in, uh, 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 not made impure by anything. So he was he was there. This is not imaginary. And this is Sahih. Right? Yeah. So what, what do you think? Are you going to follow a prophet? Obviously, he has mental mental illness. This is a sign of mental illness. Regardless if Muhammad is a false prophet or not, but this is a proof that this person has mental illness. A, per, a person who is aware, a person who is a smart, a person who have a brain, he will not. This is why people they are asking him, why you are doing that? Are you? Do you see the guy? What he said to him? He said to him, "Are you? Are you? Do you see the question mark?" Performing. Yeah. So he is yeah. questioning his behavior. So the Arab, who they are Arab, and they are people like I am an Arab. You know, we used to take a shower maybe once a year. Okay. But even those Arab who take a shower once a year, they don't say, they don't do what he's doing. To the point they are questioning his madness. Are you? And then when you say water is, is not made impure, that's mean everything is always pure because a human being is full of water. Is it Muhammad in the Quran says, and we created everything from water? Correct? Yes. That's mean shaitan, sorry, that's mean a human. Pigs, pigs, uh, rats, cats, anything. Is ain't always, it always is a pure. That's mean all of Islam is a lie. I agree with you for this one. Yeah, but if you agree with me in this one, you have to agree with the rest. For now, in chapter 2, verse 173, it says, It's forbidden for you the dead meat and the blood and the flesh of the swine, but all of this is water. So how he say, Everything is made from water. Every living thing is made from water. The meat, the blood, the, the swine made from water. And how he said the water, nothing make it impure. And then he said that the blood is forbidden. The meat, the meat is forbidden. The swine is forbidden. And then he is swimming between them. Mm. Right? So what do you think? I am here to clear your doubt. I mean, if you have anything less still make, holding you to stay as a Muslim, ask me and I will help you. Otherwise, I invite you to leave Islam right now. <laughs> yeah, why not? I mean, you, it's you, not really. You, why it's you want, not really easy here, uh, CP. Why is not, not really? Who care easy. about easy, not easy, my friend? Is it easy to follow a, a, a crazy man? Is that easier? Is that easier to say uh, my prophet is, is, a, is mentally ill and is crazy man? 
Is that easier for you to go and pray to God who is stupid and false? Is it easier that you humiliate yourself, you bend your head every day to an idol God who does not even exist? Which one is easier? But I mean, this is also about the consequences. Well, you can deal, you can uh, deal with it. You can you, you can deal with it. You can move. Families. You can move to a Christian area. You can you know. There's many ways. I mean, life, my friend. You see, life is not about people who they are around you. If those people around you, they will not love you for who you are. You don't want to be with them. Doesn't matter who they are. If I have a mother, she will not love me for my choice. I don't want to be with her. That means she don't love me. I love her, I respect her, but she if she really care for me, she will care for my happiness. Correct? Yeah. So who, right. who care what people say, my friend? I have many people, they, 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 they are against me, they speak against me, etc. It doesn't hurt me. For me, I do what I think is right. I don't care. We will live one life in this earth. Either we live it with the glory, or we live it with humiliation, being a slave of people. Do what people want. Doing what people want will take you nowhere. You are not life. You are just like a worm. You move as they told you to, to move. You speak as they told you to speak. You say as they want you to, to say. So if you want to live like a worm, you part, you part when they say to you, part like a puppy, then this is not life. For me, I prefer to live free. My belief is free. My statement is free. And I will be enjoy the freedom which God he gave me and nobody can take from me. But I want to ask you about one other question All before right. CV. Okay, sure. Is that possible? Sure, sure. Go ahead. You still have a for this. Okay. What is the question? Um, I saw some of your uh, video and it's uh, uh, discuss about some discussion about the, the miracle in the Quran and uh, I agree almost all of your point about that. This is not really true. This is like a false uh, interpretation, like um, seven heaven that's uh, similar to atmosphere, something like that. Okay. But I also uh, wondering about, I forgot uh, uh, about the uh, ayat that mentioned about the river under the sea that is really uh, fine in the in uh, southern america latin america somewhere river under the sea yes hmm. so there is a verse also on... mentioned quran. Okay. quran right okay let me let me see because most of them they come with the new ideas every day uh, let me see i will search in google i never heard this before you know I will search where it says the miracle of river under the sea and we will put it in the screen. River under the sea. I found a video, but I cannot play videos, you know. Uh, Science of Miracle Quran, river. Give me a second. Sure. <clears throat> It will look like we have only <clears throat> uh, <coughs> videos. Okay, okay, here we go. I found that thing. I will put it on the screen. I found it in the video, by the way. But I, I cannot play the video, but I'm going to show people what we are talking about. And this is, again, a very clear sign of deception, how they try to fool you and how the deception work. Give me a second, please. All right, this is the video. It says, river under the sea of Mexico, miracles of the Holy Quran, correct? You see it? Yeah. All right, but, but look what they are quoting for us. It's quoting for us, chapter 25, verse 
نمبر 53 وهو الذي مرج البحرين هذا عذب فرات وهذا ملح أجاج okay. but just to show you how stupid the statement in Arabic it says there is two seas but they just say the river under the sea in the title correct okay so how in the Quran says two seas if it's, it's, if it's a river <laughs> you know what I mean it's a river Secondly, the verse in the Quran says that those two seas, they never met. So there are two seas, not one. They are not a river and a sea. They are two seas. Let us go to the Quran. I will copy the verse as it is from their the, uh, description. And I will go to the Quran in front of your eyes. And everybody will be laughing in a second. I will post what is written in their description. Here we go, chapter oh, yeah. 25, I, verse um, number 53. Arab, to read Arabic. My friend, my friend. To be honest. My, my friend. Yeah, they can lie to, you, lie to you, no problem, but I'm here to help you, no problem. See, this is the translation. Yusuf Ali says two bodies of water. That's a lie. It doesn't say two bodies of water. Change the translator. You will see it says two seas. You see it? Here we go. This is Muhammad Khan and Hilali. What the translation is saying? It is he who let free the two seas. They put with two brackets, two, bracket, two kinds of water, but it says seas in Arabic, Bahrain. And it says that those two seas, they have a barrier, complete partition between them, which means they don't pass. So the river they are talking about is just a spring of water going inside, inside the ocean, correct? Yeah. Okay, but this is not what it says here. Here it says they will never, never pass. Not only that, in Arabic it says, وَحِجُرًا مَحْجُورًا بَرْزَخًا وَحِجُرًا مَحْجُورًا If we go right now in the front of your eyes to Ibn Kathir, what we will find? Let us do that. Is Ibn Kathir will take, will take my side? No. Is Ibn Kathir is a Christian? But actually, by the way, Ibn Kathir, Tafsir Ibn Kathir, all of it is to defend Islam, not to explain the Quran. He's a liar like them. So, chapter 25, verse number 53, we go to Ibn Kathir. Let us do it. In the front of your eyes, here we go. And then you will not, you will see right away that this is a fraud, another fraud. All of Islam is a fraud. Okay, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir explanation. Read carefully, please. I don't know if the text is clear. It is he who let free the two seas one is portable and sweet and the other one is salty means he created two kind of water sweet and salty the sweet water is like that in the rivers spring and on wells in arabic it says seas but ibn kathir is saying it's like those who they are like those in the river not they are which is a fresh sweet potable water and this was the view of ibn juraj and then he says meaning there's without a doubt no for no and nowhere in the creation there is a sea which is a fresh and salty water so they are trying to answer how the quran says two seas they are saying we cannot find anywhere salt water sea we can find salt water sea but we cannot find so a fresh water sea so maybe allah speaking about the river let us go let us continue and then he says he explained how they are not mixed he said and he has set a barrier a complete partition between them complete they don't mix Meaning between the salty water and the sweet, the sweet water, it doesn't matter what they are now the sweet water. Muslims they are trying to figure out how the how the sweet water became sea. They say maybe he meant the rivers, maybe he meant the lakes. Barzakhan, barzakhan mean a partition which is a dry land. Do you see it? Do you see a dry, dry land? But the complete the, partition between them. Yes, they don't mix. That's it. There's a because there's land between them. Barzakh is a land, a dry land. It's not only a land, it has to be dry. So all the miracle claim is a lie because they, they, he used the word barzakh there. The word barzakh is a piece of land which is higher than the water. Let us say you have water in the right and water in the in the left. What is between them they call it barzakh. You know what I mean? But Barza is the, it's the land when we are go after we are die. 
Right. Exactly, because it's a road too. It's a it's a land. It's a dry land where you go over it. Barzakh is a physical object. And not only that, it says Wahijaran Mahajura. It is complete partition, I mean barrier to prevent one of the other to mix together. Do you see it? So it's a dry land and it's a complete barrier. They will never mix, but this is not what happened in the river, which is under the sea. The river go inside the sea because there's a current. In that location, there's a fresh water, but after a mile or two, the water is a change, is going to be mixed. This is why we call something called delta, correct? You know, you know what delta is? Yes, I know. Okay, delta is mixed simply between fresh water and salt water. They mix. So scientifically, they are lying because fresh water and salt water, they mix. All the delta in the world is a fresh and salty water. Secondly, you can go right now to the kitchen, get a cup, mix salt with it, another cup, have a fresh water in it, put them together, let's see if they mix. <laughs> Number three, the verse in the Quran says there is a partition of a dry land and the Quran claimed that they will never meet what 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 Allah he is saying now that he created for you fresh water and this fresh water never mixed with the salty water when this is absolutely wrong because the fresh water we have is coming from the sea you know how the, how the cycle of rain right yeah okay so why their Islamic scholars Islamic books saying they never met it's a dry land but in their videos they are saying something different can they support what they say? They cannot. Can they show us where it says that? They cannot. I'm not using a Christian like book to read for you. We can read a Jalalain, we can read all the scholars, you will see all of them, they agree, that's what it says. What do you think? <clears throat> That's clear now. I just get confused when I when I heard about these these verses. Well, you know, th this is the point of those verses is just to uh, deceive you and make you believe in something not true, not exist. And you know, the Quran, uh, this verse itself is a reason for people to leave Islam. You see, in chapter twenty-seven, verse number sixty-one, look what it says, and this is the Muslim translation or he who has made the earth firm to live in the fact it's not really it doesn't say uh, firm but I will go with it and he made the rivers in the midst and he set there in mountains uh, and those mountains they are firmly fixed and he made separating bar between the two seas they say in the translation here two bodies of flowing water do you see he he put separating bar do you see it yes okay separating bar okay what is that bar if you go and read the interpretation for the, this is a different verse you will see the bar is a dry land again <laughs> it says bar so they are not touching each other they are not touching each other and they are not two bodies of water the translation here is a lie it says two seas you see never trust a muslim translation yusuf ali is a bad translation if you go to the front translation let us see it is two seas and allah he put a bar between them so they will never meet and he placed a partition between the two seas do you see it we just changed the translator what happened is that a new book? It sounds like a new book now. If you go and read the interpretation for this verse, you will see the same. Let us try. Chapter 27, verse number 61. Let me open different interpretations. So most of them, they will not say, oh, he is using just Ibn Kathir. Suddenly, they don't want Ibn Kathir. No problem. We will go to different uh, uh, verse in the Quran and we will love. 2761 Is there also similar uh, interpretation by the Indonesian scholar on this? Uh, similar to who? To uh, Ibn Kathir? <clears throat> uh, 
um, yeah, when they are uh, translating the, the yeah. hadith. Okay. All right. Read carefully. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. This is the website of the Kingdom of, of Jordan. It says here, He made the earth and abode stability that does not consciously shake beneath you and under your feet for the inhabitants. And he made rivers and uh, to flow throughout. And he set mountains for it, which is, has fixed on earth. This is a mistake too, because mountains are not placed on the earth. They are part of the earth. And he set a barrier between the two seas between the sweet one and the salty one do you see it no, one and the one not mixing with the other they never mix that's it there's a barrier do you see it mm -hmm. okay this is now yeah, this is now a jalalain okay forget about jalalain maybe a jalalain is stupid let's go to ibn abbas <laughs> all right he says he has set a barrier preventing mixture between the two seas do you see it preventing but in science those river they mix they mix every second yeah if you go if you go yeah. you live in indonesia go with you five take with you in the in the boat five gallon not in the boat let's say in the beach take with you five gallon of water fresh water throw it in the water just between your legs and try to grab the fresh water back you will not find the fresh water you will find salty water correct You hear me? I think he is suffering from bad connection. But do you see, guys, how they lie to you in order to fool you, make you believe? This is, this is not only not science, this is a mistake. The God of the Quran, he thinks that the, 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 he made a miracle, the, the salty water and fresh water are not mixed, they are two seas. So what do you think? If you go now, my friend, if you go to the, the beach in Indonesia, and you take with you a big truck full of water fresh water and you dump it in the ocean and then you bring a cup of water and right away after you dump the water right away not after 10, 10 hours put a cup in the water to drink from the fresh water which you just dumped you will not find it it's gone it's mixed are you there You have a bad connection, I think. But here you see an example how important our videos is. If not, this person and you and him and she and he, they will still believe that this is really true a miracle for the deception is the game. The whole point is how we can deceive you, not how, how we can share the truth with you. This is why it's very important to show those videos to your children so they will not lie to them and fool them. Are you there, my friend, or are you hang up? Hello? I think we lost him. Hello? Ah, we are losing him. The devil, he tried not to make him leave Islam. Yeah, look like they don't want him to leave Islam, huh? Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, so you did... can hear me? Yeah, I did. I do. Yeah, sorry, uh, my connection is suddenly getting cut here. No problem. But do you see how we prove that everything they are saying is a lie? The question is yeah. if Islam is a good religion, why the followers of Islam they lie to make you believe in something which is a lie? If this is a good religion from God, why we do the act of the devil to make you believe in the true God, if Allah is a true God, you know what I mean? Yes. 
So what do you think, my friend? This is you said this is the only one stopping you from leaving Islam. Aren't you going to leave Islam? But how? What do you mean how? Just say I am out of Islam. This is garbage. That's it. Muhammad is a false prophet. Just say it. This is easy. Say I don't believe in Islam no more. I'm out. Very easy. You want to believe in a God, he, he teach you that there's two water uh, seas, one is a fresh and one is salty and never mixed? Do you want to believe in God who says that sperm became a congealed blood? You want to believe in God who says that the one who has orgasm first, the baby will look like him? A God who says that sperm coming from the chest of the women and the sperm of the man coming from the backbone? <laughs> and the hail is coming from mountains in no. heaven? So what you know? This is this is an insult to you to stay believing in it. It's an insult for our brain. It's an insult to me to follow a stupid person like Muhammad. So I don't know if you heard me. How many times I say, if 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 a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? Not how foolish. I say how fool because this is not only act of foolishness. This is mean you are fool all the way to your bones. So I invite you, my friend, to to, to denounce Islam right now, as we speak. Yeah, yeah, what? I I agree with you. You agree with me, what? That this is, yeah, that this is uh, mostly that some of the topic that you uh, expose in this uh, discussion. It's it's uh, what you say is true, and I agree with you. So, are you out of Islam? All right, that's wonderful. He's out of Islam. That's the that's the that, that's the first step. I'm so happy for you. So now you agree with me that Muhammad is a false and he is a fraud. That's wonderful. Now, what do you think about accepting Christianity, accepting Christ as your savior, as long as you decide to leave Islam? I. How I want to start about this? Uh, I heard about uh, some story about about him, about uh, Jesus, mm. uh, from my friends. A lot of my friends is uh, Christian, okay. and they are a good Christian. Uh, go to the church every week, and then I also uh, watching a video from 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 uh, several ex-Muslim that already convert to Christian and they call they are a good Murtadin here hmm. then um, that's how I uh, wonder and try to call you tonight all right try to so how I can help you to to uh, to accept the Messiah if there is any anything you need to clear out in your mind to, to accept the Messiah as your Savior how I can help you because, you know, it's not enough for us to say Muhammad is a devilish man following the devil. It's important, too, to find the salvation. And for me, as a Christian, I'm inviting you to believe in Christ, for he is the best I can invite you to. I have no one better. I am no one. Nobody is good, only God. And the only good God is the Messiah. So what is now the reason for you not to say, I accept the Messiah? You are. You said you are. You watch videos of uh, Christians who they are ex-Muslims who became a Christians. You have a friends who they are Christians who go to the church. What is the point which is not making you until now? What is stopping you? Because uh, the main reason is uh, when you. Uh, sorry, my my English is very awful. Don't sorry. worry, don't worry. It's okay. uh, when uh, when I uh, talk to you about the consequences here mm. it's not easy and uh, even some of the what we call it murtadi they mm. also persecute and go to the jail for uh, some reason um, 
Yeah, you can, my friend. For, well, na yeah, for now, for now, well, you can, you well, can, you can well, become a Christian, and don't tell everybody until you move to a different place, find a job in a different place, between Christians, live there, and that's it. There's many areas in. But you in, won't in, post in, my name in the in the in the channel, right? No, 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 no. But we are live. You know, understand, right? You know, we are live, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows your name, and nobody. No, I never share information about anyone. Is that also a need to really choose uh, whether uh, go to the Catholic or Protestant or in Christianity? In, in Christianity, my friend, there is nothing. It's called Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox. Christianity is Jesus Christ only. Those are just name of churches. All of them for me, they are Christian churches. I don't care what the name of the church is. However, you believe and you should believe in Christ, not in a priest. Priest is a man like me and you. He can be good, he can be bad. He can be a fraud like Muhammad. So we are not following a priest. We don't follow a man. We don't follow a name. We don't follow a title. We follow Christ. So for you, what is important is to believe and to accept Christ as Savior, not a priest as Savior. A priest cannot save himself. So you accept the Messiah and you can choose a church of your choice from your friends who they are Christians, true Christian, believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit and the crucifixion of Jesus and he's coming back and he is the only savior any churches believe in this they are good to me to go to and you can do go there and when it's time you can go and do baptism and you will be Christian and by accepting Christ right away actually you are a Christian but the baptism is to spawn you know to, to so the Holy Spirit will bless you and bless your life so I invite you right now to accept the Messiah if you are convinced in your heart that the Messiah is your savior and the messiah is the one we can trust if you agree with me in that then the rest is not important there's nothing is called you know christ he never says catholic protestant this is just a you know happening through history uh, a politics uh, uh, argument however all of us we are good fruits of the good god it's like having a table and the table is so beautiful to the point we have all kinds of fruits so christians we are fruits all of us we are delicious we have maybe different color some of us are african some of us we are asian some of us we are white some other we are it doesn't matter all of us we are the fruit of the lord and all of us we are his beloved children so names color ethnic all those things are not important the bible actually uh, say clearly <clears throat> that there is no no difference between us as a Christians no difference between us as ethnic no difference between us as color as languages the difference only is with our fruits from their fruits you shall know them you are Asian, you are Indonesian, you are Filipino, you are white, you are black, you are a child of God, and the rest is not important. Is it what Jesus said? Yes, this is what Jesus said. This is what the Bible teach. Jesus said, from their fruit you shall know them. I have a verse in front of you in the screen. I don't know if you can see it. It says there is neither Jew uh, nor just, Greek. Uh, I just uh, turn off my uh, yeah. computer because the, in, I'm in Galatian, uh, in Galatian chapter four. three. It says there is no neither Jews nor nor Greek. There is no neither bond or free. Even if you are a slave, and I'm a free man, or or the opposite, still we are equal in the front of God because the one who slave us is the man, not God. The one who make you free, the one who made me slave. Is not God that's the man so all of all of those no male no female even in Christianity make the women the male and the female are the same for God nor male nor female for all of you is one in Christ Jesus so Christ he make us here as a family and you make you as my brother in Christ 
even though you are coming from different country you speak different language you eat maybe different food you have different name but that will not change anything that you are still a child of God and the Lord he love you the Lord he said for God he loved the whole world he sent his only begotten son so when the Lord he says he loved all the world that's mean he loved Indonesia he loved Bangladesh he loved India he loved everybody not only Middle East and Israel and he loved everybody So I invite you, my friend, to accept the Messiah as your Lord, as your Savior. For time can go fast, and your soul can be taken from you any second, and you lose your salvation. Leaving the cult of Islam is not enough. Salvation only happens by accepting the Messiah. So, it's not really matter which one church that I need to go my friend what what matter in the time of christ that's the simple question is what what church was exist in the time of christ none of those so church is, is is us the church is us the church is not a building the church is not something called catholic or protestant or orthodox the church is us and the messiah said whoever believe in me and i will live not whoever believe in a priest or a pope or a, or a catholic or protestant whoever believe in me those are three schools each one of them he says we are right however the three of them they agree that salvation happened only by the messiah the three of them agree that the father the son the holy spirit is one god the three of them agree the crucifixion and the coming back of jesus and the differences between them make no different that's why i say to you it make no different what the church i go to because the difference between them have nothing to do with really with the essence of god the the, the who is god all of them agree that the messiah is the lord he is the savior so don't focus on those names. Focus on Christ, my friend. Focus on Christ. Accept the Christ. I'm not asking you to accept Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox. I'm asking you to accept Christ as Savior. For those names don't save. Those are just names. All of them, they need a Savior, which is Jesus. So all of them, in order to be saved, they have to believe in Jesus. And this is what they do. So if I am a Catholic or a Protestant or Orthodox, I have to believe in Jesus anyway as my Savior to be saved. So what difference makes? That doesn't make any difference. Focus in the important, which is accepting the Messiah as your Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, what? Do you accept? I want you to say a full sentence. Do you accept the Messiah as your Savior? Yeah, I accept him. I mean to that. I mean to that. I am so happy for you. I hear some crying there. That's wonderful, my friend. Let your tears wash your heart, wash your eyes, wash your soul, and may the Lord bless you. And today, there is a happiness in the kingdom of the Lord, for he said in the Bible that a happiness will be in the kingdom of God for one soul is saved. This is how much you are priceless for him. This is how much he loves you. And today, my friend, you have a new life. And don't worry about your tears. Those are good tears. Those are nice tears. Those are beautiful tears, for they are going to wash your sin, Today, you have a new life and you started a new journey. You are a new person. You are reborn again with the Christ. This is what Jesus said. You cannot go to heaven unless you are reborn again. How you can be reborn again? By accepting the Messiah, believing in him as Savior, as your Lord, as your Master, as your Teacher, as your Prophet, as God. That is the Messiah, the Holy One. So you have a blessing in your life and I pray. I want all people who they are here to pray for you that today not only you many of your family will come to Jesus and maybe the Lord will use you as a light in your own house so you will be the candle which is light in darkness what do you like to say if you can talk for now I think I uh, I'm not really have a brave to talk with my family. I'm still stay with them. And right now I'm in a backyard. I didn't want them to uh, hurt this uh, conversation. Yeah. So maybe it's a, uh, it's a uh, hard for them to accept the same way that I decide to take right now. I understand. 
Um, no, I'm just praying for them. I'm praying for them. Don't. I'm not asking you to go and talk to them right now. No, don't. I'm saying I pray, and God, He will help you. God will help you. You know, things will happen in time. Things will happen when it's time. So don't worry about it. And I understand. Actually, I heard you going out of your room, uh, closing doors, because you don't want them to hear you. And I understand very well. Do you want to say anything for those? Look how many people now they are happy for you. Look how many people in the chat. I don't know. Can, you can't see the chat, sadly. Maybe later you can see it. You will see how many people they are praying for you. They are so happy for you. And uh, if you are in, in, in person with them, each one of them will give you a hug. Welcome to the family, my friend. Now you are joining the family of Christ. You are a member of a, a family, which is a family of love, not a family of takbir and kill them. A family of love. Pray for those who curse you those who persecute you you have the biggest loving family ever you can imagine a family who pray for peace pray for prosperity even for those who hate us we pray for the Muslims to have a good life to have a good health we pray for them to see the light of a Christ we love the Muslims and we will never hate them we love your family my friend they are Muslims we love them the same as we loved you five minutes ago before you became a Christian we are now still we love you and now we not only we love you we are happy for you because you are saved so before you've been beloved because you are God child but now you are saved so now the Lord himself he will shade his glory on you when you told me that I'm safe and uh... My sin already forgive. Is it also my previous in my previous um, my friend, religion? I mean Islam. Yeah. Because yeah. You see, the Lord He said, "Whoever believe in Me and die will live." It's not me who says your sin is forgiven. The Lord He said, "Whoever believe in Me and die will live," which means your death is temporary. Your sin is 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 washed by you repenting and believing. So not only by believing but you believe and you repent which means you will never do that again sin we practice is not going to be part of our life and we believe in the messiah that is going to save us the only one can cleanse you from your sin is the lord not me i am no one i am nobody so when i say to you i say to you the good news which the messiah he gave us whoever believe in me so you believe in him and you are doing his command for he said not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So from now on, you are a person who pray to the Messiah. You worship the Messiah. And you ask for forgiveness from the Messiah. You don't ask it from no man. No false God, no false deity. And your fruit should be a fruit of a Christian. Loving, giving, be a wonderful person. From their fruits, you shall know them. So you believe in the Messiah. And then, because you believe, your fruits will be wonderful. The nature of this tree will change. Your fruit will be different, fruit of love. So, the second you believe, and the second you believe from your heart, not hypocrisy, not saying shahada, like Muslims they do, believing from your heart, you are saved. So, your sin in the past is there, but God, he is the one who can forgive your sin. And yes, he said, he said the one who believe in me, and I will live, which means you are welcome in his kingdom, and your sin is gone. Thank you. And my friend, I have a gift for you. Thank you, Sophie. You're welcome. I have a gift to you. I will take advantage to, to announce today that soon I'm going to publish my book, the Indonesian translation for Deception of Allah. And it's going to be in your honor. All right? Where I need to buy it? No, 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 it's going to be for free. It's going to be published very soon. And I'm taking advantage of having you today. May the Lord bless you and your family. And we will publish the book very soon in the internet for free. Deception of Allah translated to the Indonesian language. All right, for free for yeah. all Indonesian because we love Indonesian. You see, for me, I'm not a rich man. I am not. I am no, no rich in any mean, but uh, I am rich with many things. The Lord, He is the, the one who enrich us. He is the one who provides us. So all of us, we need, we need to have income, right? But it's more important for me from selling a book 
is to bring people to Christ. And the 300 million Indonesian, they are waiting for such a book. So I will give it as a gift for all Indonesian who speak the language for free. And now we will have two books, Quran and Science in Depth and Deception of Allah. Both of them, they are going to be Indonesian. They are already Quran and Science is published. So I want to say thank you, my friend. Do you want to say anything for those people that are here? Um, thank you uh, for all of you. Um, and sometimes I not really know about what I want to say in uh, English uh, CP. Is that possible to say in Indonesia? Sure, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, that would be actually more lovely. Why not? Um, terima kasih teman-teman dari yang dibilang oleh CP bahwa kalian semua mendoakan yang seperti ini menjadi hal yang baik karena sebelumnya aku tidak tahu bahwa banyak hal yang ternyata salah di dalam Quran hanya coba pelan-pelan mempelajarinya dan malam ini setelah berusaha untuk mencari tahu sendiri dengan diskusi dengan Sipi ternyata semua yang dikatakan itu benar dan sepertinya memang selama ini telah banyak telah banyak kesalahan mungkin yang saya lakukan terima kasih teman-teman untuk mendoakan saya harap semua yang terbaik untuk kita semua thank you CP you're welcome my friend may the Lord bless you and if you have any question let me know in the future sure and if you, you want your family to talk Bye -bye. to me I will be happy to talk to them too all right yeah all right take care my friend sure Take care. God bless. Yeah.